Alright, I'm it's so hard to do this. Alright, so they're loading Danny up. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're in Indianapolis again. We got Jeff from Outdoor Influencer. We got Gavin from Beast Magnet Fishing. And today we're at this lovely river out here and a pretty sketchy part of town. There's a junkyard behind us. There's a school on the other side. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and hop straight in this and see what we can find. What is that? We got three things on here. So first find, so on the first find on this throw, we got a piece of like angle iron. Then we ended up getting another skeleton key lock or door lock, and we got a nice little tool right there. Yeah. Something looks like we got an old railroad spike on that one. That's exactly what we got right there. And then... All right, so I just got mud all over my camera. All right, so we just pulled something in. Let's go ahead and see what this is. We got a little metal box. What is this? Oh, we got some. We got another gas cover. Look at that. Uh, GAS, yeah. gas. Whatever it is, this wedge right here. What is that? Dude, that's a gun. It's a gun in the back. It's a gun. It's a gun. It's a gun in the back. Holy crap. Holy shit. Holy, 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 holy crap. Holy crap. Holy oh crap. Gosh. Holy crap. Oh, oh, that's that's another gun. Shh, shh, shh. Full shotgun. Put it in the car. Put it in the car. So we just found this big old shotgun. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Wow, man. We had to hurry up and rush to the car, guys, but Danny just found the shotgun. Oh my God. And it's like, it's not, it's still fresh. It's just really muddy. All right, everybody. So the police have just arrived. What are you guys doing? Like YouTube thing? It was right by where you guys looked at the gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Danny. So how are you feeling, bro? You just found that shotgun. The man. police are just here. Shotgun fit try. Literally the spot we've never been to. As you can see, we pulled up a couple things. A bicycle, we got a pocket knife. Yeah, look at all the bicycles. Scrap metal. And yeah, hopefully um, they can get this put in evidence. Hopefully find if it was involved in any murders or anything or any shootings and bring some closure to the families. What is this? What are these? Is that a motorcycle kick? Clutch? Why right, would you find over here, Danny? It looks like some weird piece of metal with some oh, yeah. grooves on it. Yeah, it does look like a motorcycle part. That goes to a railroad bridge, is what that goes yep, to. Yep, they're called, uh, what are they, C clamps? Yeah, C clamp. Yep, that's a C clamp to a railroad that's bridge. A little bent, but still cool, bro. All right, so the evidence tech has just arrived. What kind of shotgun you think that is? thing is, we were up here probably a month ago and we seen the car stop and literally drop something off and I think that's what it was. But I don't mind you doing the video for you. Oh, sorry. I'll keep my distance. <laughs> it may be loaded and I don't want you to get yeah. it. Yeah, I understand. Can I ask what you guys are going to do with it after like the process and everything? Yeah, so we uh, dispose of it. You think they'll be able to find any numbers off that gun? They link to a potential homicide or a crime? That's up to them down there at the property, buddy. I obviously I can't see anything on it. Oh yeah, I understand.
Castriel. Hey, thank you. you ready? Get it over the railing. Pull up. Dude, there's something wedged in there, too. Ready? Ready? Ow. One, two, three. Ooh, good thing I caught that. That would have ended my ankles. Yeah, that's a pretty big, big bicycle. That's a pretty big bicycle. Nice find, Gavin. All right, so here's the bicycle that Gavin just found. Gavin, Looks like an old 10-speed uh, bicycle. bicycle, man. How you feel, bro? I feel good. It's heavy. I need Denny's help. But I'm feeling like there's some more stuff over there. All right, heck yeah. All right, they found a wheelchair over here. So hopefully that's the only thing that's involved with that wheelchair. That thing is heavy. Oh Dang, that's a nice wheelchair. That thing's huge. Nice. Stand it up. Oh, that's, oh, and my sock. Um, Come on, Granny. You want to go for a river walk? All right, so here's the wheelchair that they just found. Check this thing out. I've never seen a wheelchair get pulled out of the river before. That's Dang. crazy, man. Dude, look at that stuff. All right, so we have four police cars here. Gotten crazy, y'all. Good, how are you? A magnet, grappling hooks, everything. Yeah, we go around full time doing it. Yeah, he's actually from Missouri. I'm from North. We actually just met a scrapper earlier today, thank God, because I know four bikes or three bikes in the uh, wheelchair won't fit my car. He actually stopped and was like, you guys are doing anything with that? We're like, it's yours if you want it. He loaded up a bicycle in his car, everything, and took off. So it looks like we got something right here. Looks like a hub to another bike. Actually, that might be a motorcycle hub. That's pretty big. All right, Danny just looks like he just pulled up a signpost. Is that a signpost? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, you got another bicycle. Fourth one today. Maybe we can beat our record of seven. That Yo, that's Up insane. You got another bicycle out. So apparently Gavin found a whole Modelo bottle, not even, not even open. That's pretty cool. So it looks like we got a big piece of pipe. I wonder, if, I wonder if they already linked it to something like it is linked to something. They ran it and it's linked. It just opened. So we just got to save. Safe. Safe. All right, so Danny's found just found a safe. safe over here. I guess you never know what you're going to find in Indianapolis. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at the safe he just found. Sadly, it's broken. Oh man, hey, still cool, bro. Hey, still cool safe. So let's see what we got. What is that? Piece of a car frame. I have no clue. Over, Danny. Piece of a car frame or some sort. Hey, right, so we have the police officers going to throw it out, y'all. That's the new group. Can you imagine? I'll pull up a gun, dude. That means I'm better than you, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, something. Good piece of pipe. We'll call it a shotgun bear. <laughs> Some type of gears. They're stuck together, too. You want to throw it? I'd love to have you throw it. Yeah, use the rope. Uh, you pull, you shock put it before. Yeah. Oh. Looks like oh, part of a shopping too. cart. Me too. I got the shotgun barrel. I'm not really sure what that is. Here, you want me to take it off? You got a screwdriver on there too. I needed a screwdriver. Did he find a screwdriver? Oh, he did find a screwdriver. Look at that. Okay. Is it a fork? All right, I gotta go. Y'all have a good one. Hey, nice thank day. you. Have nice hey, have a nice day. Oh, wow, that's a big steel right there. Got 
before I got caught. Yeah, right now. About three minutes left. All right, so the police just got a crazy call on the radio and they had to leave an emergency. All right, so Danny just found this. What is that? Is that a ladder? It looks like a window frame. Oh yeah, that's definitely a window frame. Cool, cool, cool. It's like barely coming. What is all that? A whole bunch of scrap on here. What is all that, Danny? Looks like we got a weird bolt, piece of like something, and another piece of something. There's lots, lots of garbage on here. Yeah, definitely a lot of stuff, man. We're just gonna keep magnet fishing, guys, while the cops are here. Did you Are find over Christmas here, man? Lights? Yeah, you just found a bunch of Christmas lights. You may have found a Christmas tree, bro. Oh, All right. They're more heavy, too. What'd you find over here, Danny? So we got a skateboard truck, and then we got some pieces to a uh, bike chain, a little piece of metal, a shirt, and there's a lure stuck on the shirt. Oh, man, we just find all kinds of crazy stuff today, man. Hard to tell what else we're gonna find, man. What'd you find, Dan? So we just found a railroad spike. First one hey, of the day. Heck yeah, first railroad spike today. Daniel. Yep. You got to take all right everybody so currently we are in la it is december 20th 2021 guys it has been six months this has been our third court date guys hopefully it's going to be our last but we are on our way to court we're waiting for an uber driver right now guys so with this next clip it is going to be trimmed up for court reasons guys but with that being said let's continue with the video Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Alright, Danny's getting arrested. I know I don't want to call. you guys have to call. Jenny, do you want me to call anybody? Um, Paige? Hey. I mean, you know what to do. Yeah, I don't have your number. What's your number? Can you guys read that? Yeah. There, the little pinch buttons. Oh yeah. Do you see the pinch thing right next to it? You pinch both sides. Does it not? But you're still gonna have to take it off because it's around my arm. Uh, you got my phone, Gavin? Who do you want? I mean, I guess just put the stuff in the pile. We'll call a scrap guy after we get all this taken care of. I guess. Right. You know. Reason to worry about it. Honestly, trying to save money for it. Dude, honestly, like, that's what happens. The way it works, the way it typically works, is uh, obviously they said yeah. they would extract you. Which means, but I'm halfway across the That's my thing. So I don't know. He said it's out of California. I didn't see. I didn't see you by, so I don't really get back. No, you're, you're fine. Hey, babe. Like you too. Yeah. So I'm in handcuffs. They, uh, Callie wants me. What? Yeah, but it's gonna get taken care of now, at least. Them about that gun. Yeah, it's it's fine. I mean, they're just it's nothing major. I mean, I'm gonna get out. All right, so they're loading Danny up. We'll get his stuff taken care of. He doesn't have anything here. Yeah, it's in Cal California. It's California. I don't know what it's considered in California, a different state. Well, we're out here, gentlemen. So All right. It was nice meeting you. I'll, hey, you I'll look up your channel. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. What's that, sir? The address for the joke? Uh, 40 South Alabama. Yep. All right, there goes Danny. All right, everybody. So they just took Danny to the Sheriff's Department here in downtown Indianapolis. What we're going to do is go down to the Sheriff's Department and try to figure out how much Danny's bell is going to be. I'm really hoping that we can get them out. It's not a whole lot of money, but if it is a lot more than I can afford or more than what other people can afford, Britain from Depths of History has already offered to get them out tonight. I will let you guys know in a few minutes how much this bell is going to be for them to get them out tonight. These calls are subject to monitoring and reporting. The Marion County Sheriff's Office is aware of stress and incarceration. Hello? Hey, what's up? Um, pretty much, uh, but if, it, if they're not going to expedite me to Cali, it's going to be a thousand. A thousand dollars will get you out? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, um, well, we'll call your girlfriend and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get something. We'll get you going, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll call you when I find something out. If not, I'll call you back. You have. Okay. Minute. Yeah, dude. Uh, just hang tight, dude. We'll figure this out, okay? All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. All right, bro. Later. Hey. Hey. We just on, we just found out Danny's bell was a thousand dollars, and we can't raise the money. So we're Seriously? yeah yeah we can't raise it. I only have a few hundred dollars in my account, so we're wondering maybe possibly if you well, can dude, help I'll, out. Dude, I'll, send a, I'll send over the money, man. I got you. For real, bro. I'll send a, I'll send it over. Yeah. Oh, bro. Thanks, no, man. Dude, thank you so yeah, much, no, dude. We've I mean, been. That's completely wrong. You know, you're 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 out here trying to you know turn in evidence that you guys have found, and then it just completely turns around and, and goes back on him. You know, I don't think that's right. And you know, I'm glad that I'm glad that I can help you guys out. It's just, yeah, uh, I know he was just you know, he was out just doing the right thing. Me, I thought you were joking about it, man. No, man, no. When I called you, dude, I was serious. <laughs> I'm gonna set you up with his girlfriend's phone number so you can reach her and send her the money. And then we're gonna drive over to his girlfriend's house and get the money, then head back over to the sheriff's department. Okay, perfect. Yeah, well, thank you, Britton. We appreciate your help. Yeah, of course, man. All right, man, later. It's so hard to do this. All right, everybody, unfortunately, Danny is not going to get released. We raised $1,000 to get him out. But unfortunately, California will not accept the money. They want to hold him up to 10 days and expedite him back to California. So we're not going to know anything for the next 10 days. He's, apparently, he's going to have to sit in jail for 10 days. All right, everybody. So it is later of December 20th, 2021. It's currently about 7.30 at night. We left at 8.30 this morning, guys. And let me tell you guys, after all these multiple trips out here for court, for being accused by this victim of... Uh, a charge we didn't commit we actually beat the case and he was charged with four felony charges guys and i can't thank you guys enough for all love and support over the last six months we have literally doubled our following we are at over 50,000 subscribers in our family base community right now and i just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys because you guys have kept me positive through all of this i've been very stressed out over the last six months i know it might not seem like it but we were because if we were to lose this which i'm glad we battled it we would have been facing a felony charge and would no longer be able to handle firearms or any type of criminal evidence like that in our videos, guys. So I just want to say thank you all for keeping my head up and keep me in the swing of things, guys. It's been a very hard time over the last six months, but I just want to say we did beat the charge. And if you guys are ever in the predicament we were in, we pretty much tried to help a lady stop this guy who was kidnapping her daughter. and. He ended up getting away with it in the end. I've never found out they found the girl, but he is on the run right now, like I said, for countless felonies. But yeah, guys, uh, don't do the right thing. If you guys feel like something's bad's going on, don't step in. I know it sounds kind of bad, but you could get the short end of the stick like I did and spend lots of money like I had to do over the last six months, guys. But like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, top post notifications. Until next time, guys, peace out and have a wonderful day. See you.